And uh, let's take a look at the preferences now, because this is also quite crucial. Some of them are crucial. I mean, there's a lot of preferences you can play around with. Most, most of them are just uh, about convenience, about how to set up your system. Um, but there are some quite important ones which I would like to highlight now. One of them in the audio setup tab um, is the latency. The latency will determine how fast Tractor reacts to your inputs. So if the latency is set very high, that means the delay between pressing a button and the effect and the reaction will be very slow. So if I pull this knob here all the way to the right, it would take quite a while bef between pressing play and actually Tractor playing a track. If I pull it all the way to the left, the processor load will be very, very high. So we want to compromise here somewhere around 10 to 20 milliseconds, which will keep the latency reasonably, li uh, reasonably low and the processor load still acceptable for most computers. Then we have the loading tab here. Um, loading only into stopped deck. I want to have this one checked because I want to avoid to load a track into a playing deck which might be the live deck and that would be quite unfortunate to happen. So I make sure that I have to manually stop my deck first before I can load a new track. Um, initially Q to load marker. Since I'm using load marker this is also something I want to have checked. Um, the mixer tab, I would like to enable auto gain because this is a very useful feature Tractor offers. Uh, it detects the gain of a track and by having auto gain checked here, it will actually automatically adjust the levels of your track so the overall mix will be quite even. You don't have to fondle around with your gains too much. Um, the crossfader I don't use at all, so I just uncheck it here and the crossfader will disappear from my software interface and it will also be disabled on my controller. On the mix recorder tab, the split file at size determines how big your file can get before a second file is being created and uh, when you record long live sets, um, when this one is set to 600 MB, after one hour um, a new file will be created and you will have, it will be a bit awkward to put it back together into a continuous mix. So I rather keep this at 200, 2000 megabytes, which gives me around four hours of continuous mix recording.